Mm-hmm. Before the break, I talked about a uh, former NFL exec mm-hmm. that thinks that Washington, he's made, he made a bold prediction on his podcast. He's a former guest on this show. Many Mike times. Lombardi. We've got to get him back on. He's a very good guest. Drabby, let's get him back on talking about His this. bold prediction about Washington in the 2021 NFL draft. Here's his quote. I think Washington is going to be the next team to unload all their picks to try to get a quarterback. Hmm. I think they love Lance. I don't think I know Washington loves Trey Lance. Oh, so will they trade up somebody? So will they trade up to get Lance? That remains to be seen. So yeah, he's definitely he has somebody inside that building that knows that that, that they're in on Trey Lance. And here was him. Uh, here was M- Mike Lombardi on the podcast, the GM Shuffle yesterday. Andy Dalton was signed by the Bears. The worst thing a team can do is to fill a position and still need a player for that team. Washington owns the 19th overall pick in the draft. What do you think about what Rivera is saying? I think he's saying exactly what we just said in the prior before he became on. I mean, they're going to wait to that draft. And if Trey Lance starts to slide, they're going to go get his ass. That's what he's saying right there. They're going to go get his ass. We're going to react to what happens in front of us. He's not lying. You know, Ron's just being totally honest. Now, do they want to go up to four and guarantee them that they get Trey Lance? Well, they're probably, you know, Atlanta probably wants two number ones in future years. And, you know, and so it's too expensive. So it's cost effective for them to sit there and wait to see what happens. I'm sure they're engaged in conversations with Atlanta. But I think that that's where they are. I think they want Trey Lance. I think they're willing to go get him. I think they want to do it in a way to where they can maximize their cost. Minimum. Hmm. I'll tell you what, Mr. Bickle, if that yeah. happens, yeah. I'm just going to do the whole, come in the next day and just go like this. You know, pat him, of, pat him my own back. Oh, really? Pat him my own back like a that. A lot of back patting by Jason Bishop. <laughs> I'll be yeah. stunned if they do it. Now, the, the, the good part would be uh, by having uh, Fitzpatrick, they won't have to play Lance. Like, they really won't. Um, yeah, they really won't. I think, of, I think he's a project for sure. He's got a lot of ability, a lot of talent. You can see it, raw talent. But I think he has got a lot to work on. He's got to work on his accuracy. He hasn't played anywhere near this kind of level right, of competition. Of yeah. um, so it, in some ways, it would be maybe a smart pick because you could truly develop him, potentially. And, but again, I'll, I'll be stunned if they go high and get any quarterback. Yeah, I think moving 19-4. to four, you have to give up a lot to get up into that yeah. stratosphere. Now, if if Atlanta deals the pick and somebody doesn't go up and get Trey Lance and he falls somewhere like 10, 12, somewhere in that range, I could see them making that move. I would be stunned if they went up to number four to get Lance, especially with Fitzpatrick in the building. Well, right now. especially since you know, like Lombardi said, you got to give up multiple ones right. and, and more to go from 19 to four, right? So what, what kind of helps Washington is that um, the Carolina Panthers made that, that deal. Right. Right. So they got Darnold. So they, they don't necessarily need a quarterback, whereas before mm-hmm. they made that deal, you had all these mock drafts saying they were going to take Lance there or right. you know, whoever like, was look, look, available. It's like Washington football team gets everything else from the Panthers. Why wouldn't they get their number eight pick if – if Trey Lance starts sliding, and yeah. they they've done they've done the math and say you know what we don't want to go up to four, but we can move up to eight because that's where Carolina sits at this point. And, you know Carolina has their quarterback now. Maybe they would entertain that and move back to nineteen and acquire some extra picks. Yeah. That and, that and, would make more sense. And here's the question I would ask Lombardi. I would follow up. And if San Francisco takes Lance mm. at three, would Washington be inclined to do the same deal and move up? to get a guy like Justin Fields or a Mac Jones. So do they – I'd like to know where they kind of rank those three and are they still willing to make a deal to move up to get the other two if Lance is gone? Right. 800-636-1067 is the number. Should Washington make a bold move into the top ten or the top five to draft a Justin Fields or a Trey Lance? And from what Michael Lombardi is saying, it sounds like some people in that building – Love them some Trey Lance. So I'm trying to think about it. So Lombardi's an old school NFL guy. I've been around a long time. I'm thinking his connection is Herney. 
Yeah, Could I'm be. Just, this is a total. I mean, you want to? Th- I'm throwing a dart in the dartboard. I right, like kids? it. I don't hate it. I'm saying two old her- dudes swapping stories. Yes, on the down I'm low. <laughs> Herney and Lombardi are old time NFL boys. Mm-hmm. Yep, and they're sharing stories, and he's poking around for information, and Marty's eating his meatballs. And Marty tells them <laughs> they really like Lance. Right. And if they can find a way to go up and get him, they'll do it. I still will be st- – I'll be stunned, and I guess it'll be exciting for the show if they pull it off. Oh, um, it'll be huge. But I, I, I'll be stunned because I think they're set. I think this team is set at quarterback for, for this year. I, I know, but I keep Fitz, telling you it goes Heineke beyond this year. They're set. It goes beyond that, this year. And I think that eight spot that the Panthers hold is pivotal because the Broncos sit at nine, and they can't be thrilled with what Drew Locke has done. So that, I don't know. You, exactly. you have to think that they're in they're, they're hunting around for their quarterback too. So if you, could, if you could leapfrog them for the guy that you want if he's there, I think that that makes sense. Yeah, look, the only two teams that you probably would say, all right, they could take a quarterback here in um, in the top ten are obviously San Francisco and Denver at nine because, as we just talked about, Carolina probably doesn't need one. Right. When you get outside the top ten, you know, Dallas isn't taking one. The Giants aren't taking one. Philly, okay, Philly, who knows, all right? They could be a wild card. But um, – and then, of course, you got the Patriots. So there are a few teams outside the top ten that may take a guy like a Lance or a Mac Jones. But right. inside the top ten, if that's where you want to jump to, there's only those two teams. Mm. Dr- Drabby, who do you think his connection is? Do you like – I don't even know if Drabby's in there. My Zoom is crashing. Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm he's not. there. Um, do, you, do you like my theory, my, my uh, just random thought that maybe Herney is his connection? Uh, who, who's he talking to? Because he's talking to somebody. I just well, think that. I mean, he's he got says, good "I don't think I the know they love Lance." Yeah. So yeah, but it might be. He's not. Herney's not going to tell Lombardi that they're just old, old school boys. He's not. He's going to say, "Look, we love him." I I could yeah. see that conversation. You could. But why does Herney want that out there? Like he that's what everyone think he's just gonna forgets when they hear these things. Is that none of these teams want what they're thinking out there? True. But you True. know what? They, who knows? There could be shenanigans. Right. Could they could be, be playing games. Screen. They could love somebody else. They maybe just want to put it out there. That right. They maybe love they Lance. really love Mac Jones, and they're saying, yeah, we want Lance because they want teams to trade up for Lance. And that obviously slips Mac Jones down the board. I, who knows? I mean, Eric, think about thought. it. If, if Herney really did love Trey Lance, and mm-hmm. then he told Lombardi that in a conversation, and then Lombardi well, just went like off and like over Nash. meatballs and yeah, over BSing. meatballs. You, you think Herney wouldn't be super Rick? If, if it's Lombardi true. went talking yeah, about it, of course. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody telling him. I don't put it this way. I don't think that Lombardi's making it up. When he when when guys say things like I don't think I know, that means somebody told him. Well, it is possible. Now, they might that, be lying. It is possible. Somebody that told him information that. leaks. All right, maybe Herney didn't call up. Uh, you know, Lombardi and they're talking about old times. Hey, by the way, I like Lance. Maybe it's not like that, but maybe it just leaks out from someone to a friend and down mm-hmm. to Lombardi. Who knows? Mm-hmm. I'd love to get good. Lombardi on the show tomorrow, but could. I want to want to know who Talk the about sauce that. is. I want to know the sauces. You're never going to find that out. <laughs> he might tell us off air. You don't think? No, he doesn't know us that well. Right. Yeah, he's not uh, going to divulge his sources. He's got to keep those nice and close to the vest. But again, all right. So let's just say it's true. All right, just for the sake of the argument, let's just say it's true that they really love Lance and San Francisco takes Lance. Do you think that they would make a move? to take one of those other two guys? Do they like fields enough where they feel like they can trade up to, I don't know, well, if, Carolina's spot, um, I don't know, Denver's spot, or excuse me, Dallas's spot at 10, although I doubt Dallas would deal with them. Um, I don't know. The problem is you got Dallas, New York, and Philly back-to-back-to-back to back to back at 10, 11, and 12. I doubt right. those teams are going to try and help Washington get a quarterback. Correct. Mm-hmm. So um, it would have to be somewhere inside of that. If you like Lance, how could you not like Fields? I know. I mean, they both have very similar skill sets, it appears. And, and I would say Fields is more accurate. Um, I, again, I, I like Fields way more than I like Lance, but, I, you know, I'm just an idiot. Would you be a, okay with yeah. them maybe not giving up two ones, but, you know, a one and a two and maybe, I don't know, a three? I don't know what you'd have to get up to get up to, like, eight you probably have to still give up multiple multiple ones, but would you be okay with them trading up to get Fields? I mean, I guess, I, it, because it'd be great for the show. 
You know, they, they draft a first-round quarterback and the drama that will ensue over the next three or four years. But I think that – I don't think they need one right now. I think they need one in a year or two, and maybe that's what this is all about. But I still think we need other pieces. They're not I don't in know. desperate need for 2021. No. You're right. But – I'm telling you, the Martys were thinking about 2022, 2023. Sure, they're looking down the line. You're always because you know Fitz ain't going to be there in 2023. No, I think maybe two years. Maybe I think I think maybe two years, but I just I think that that that's their window. That's this team's window. So let's let's you know let's buff up the other positions, you know. But I don't know. All right, let's go to let's go to the phones. See what people think. Let's go to uh, line one. Let's go go to Mo and Largo. Mo, what's up, man? You're all the junks. Good morning, fellas. Thanks for taking my call. Yep. Hey, buddy. Uh, as far as moving up in the draft, I mean, everything's within reason. Um, as far as multiple first-round picks, not too excited about that. Um, but <laughs> if we could maybe slide in something with maybe a first, a second, and a third, along with a player that we can trade who doesn't really want to sign here, um, then I can understand that. But um, this is the year that we have to make a play for a quarterback because this is our lag year. And the way things are looking moving forward with college progression, oh, I'm sorry, college quarterbacks developing, from what I understand, the next two classes are pooping. So yeah, if you're going to make I'm a saying. move, this is the year to make the move. Um, I get, you know, how you feel about Trey Lance because, you know, his sample size is kind of minimal right now. But as far as the ceiling is concerned with that young man, I mean, he could be something spectacular. So, you know, it's, it's, it's all about within reason what's, what's being asked versus what we have or what we're willing to give. But this is definitely a year where we need to make a year, I mean, make a move for a quarterback because we literally don't have to start him this year. So, right. you know, that's how I'm looking. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. Yep. Y'all definitely forgot about Paul Casey, too. Yeah. Oh, no. I definitely well, slept I was Well, no, I didn't. Mo, I, I, t- I, did, right. I did take Casey in another pool. And this one, yeah, I, I forgot about him. But um, <laughs> okay. I'd like okay. to spread the wealth a little bit. <laughs> I hear you. All right, thank All you. Right, Good luck. Thanks. All right, thank you, Mo. Appreciate it, buddy. Eight hundred six three six one zero six seven is the number, the Gambit DC listener lines. Let's go to Brendan, line two, Richmond. Brendan, what's up, pal? You're on with the Jucks. So, listen, guys, if you're – if they were right about Trey Lance, the economics, it's okay to give up two first-rounders the next two years and, and swap mm-hmm. your picks this year because his contract's so cheap that you can, in free agency, find one or two players, and then by the time you have to pay him, you'll have your first-round picks again. Those picks will be gone. Mm-hmm. But, it, but you have to be right that this kid is the quarterback for the next 10 years because if you're wrong – then you just screwed yourself up like we did with RG3. Yeah. Um, and, and, it, and the thing about it is they have a roster right now to compete. The way they've assembled their roster right now with Fitzpatrick, they can compete. They don't necessarily need that first round 19 pick this year to compete. Um, I would prefer more like a Darnold deal where it's a bunch of seconds because we obviously stink at picking second-rounders. Um, and the interesting thing in this draft is I think at seven is Detroit and at eight is Carolina. Well, I think Martin Mayhew come from Detroit, and then yeah. all these guys came from Carolina. So they probably have a good idea of which team needs to trade back to acquire. See, I think Detroit, their roster's terrible. They need to trade back to acquire more picks to build for the future. So mm-hmm. I think that's who you target at seven. Yeah. Yeah, that could be another suitor that you move up with as well. Thanks for the call, Brendan. Thank you, Brendan. And, and again, that. and Brendan makes a good point that it, it kind of you, you have to be right. Well, look, no one knows. If, if you could predict the future, you'd be a billionaire. <laughs> of course you would. You don't know. It's I'm an educated It's an educated guess. If they really like a guy, they think they're going to be right for the next 10 years. Doesn't mean it's going to work out. Right. You know, I'm but, willing to say this just because just it's so hard to find. They're like mm-hmm. unicorns. No matter who they pick next at quarterback, he's not going to be their guy for the next 10 years. I'll always bet against it. Yeah. Well, that's but because no who they pick. That's because they over pick Trevor t- Lawrence. That's right. because over time, first round it's, quarterbacks are maybe 50 50. Right. It's usually the safe, the safe bet is to yeah. bet against. Yeah. I'll bet against.